Hey folks, Electric Jen here. I've got another test. We're gonna see if our car will park itself in our garage. Now our garage has a lot of obstructions and a very narrow door, so I don't know what we're gonna do about this. Uh, got my husband, the camera operator, standing behind to override the car if at any time he needs it, but without further ado, he's gonna try to get the car to park. So we press the, hold down the center button on the fob to engage. You can see that these things, the uh, hazards will flash and then they'll go to a solid state to know that it's engaged. Um, you can hear the car doing its thing. It is driving backwards, there's nobody in it. It is going one mile per hour, so that's good, nice and safe. I can hear it beeping that the distance is concerning. Um, it hasn't given the stop chime yet. And it looks like it does not want to go over the very slight lip that's on our garage floor. It always does give, oh, I lied. It kept on going. So, looking good, looking good. It folded the mirrors, looking good. Now we do have a stairwell behind us and um, so far so good. Still going very slowly, but it is working. Um, to give you full disclosure, we had parked the car Oh, garage door's closing. To give full disclosure, we had parked the car perfectly, summoned it out of the driveway, or out of the garage into the driveway, and then left the car right there because then we knew it would be lined up and let it park itself. So, looks good to me. I mean, really, really, a um, little bit in disbelief because as you can see, you know, we have quite a bit of obstructions in our garage, but if you've got a smaller garage than us, you know, Good luck, try it, but it worked for us, so hope you enjoyed. Thanks.